Hello everyone and welcome to another video from City Self-Sufficiency. I'm Lauren and I thought today we'd have a look at what I feed my quail chicks. The first and perhaps most important thing to point out is that quail are game birds in the same family as pheasants and grouse, and so they have a slightly different nutritional requirement compared to chickens. In particular they need a higher protein content from their food, and you should look at giving them a minimum of 25%, whereas you can get away with more like 19-20% for chicken chicks. And by far the easiest way to ensure that they're getting enough protein is to give them a formulated feed that's either specifically for game birds or for turkeys, both have a higher protein content than chicken feed. The next thing to be aware of is that chicks don't actually need to be fed for the first 48 hours after they hatch, because during this time they still have the yolk sac inside their bodies and they're using that for all their energy requirements. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't have all their nutritional requirements ready before they hatch. The last thing you want to be doing is racing around frantically on hatch day, running around feed stores, because you've got hungry little chicks in the incubator and you haven't bought any food for them yet. So, you know, make sure you can supply the chicks with food before you start to incubate them. But anyway, let's have a look at feeding quail chicks all the way up from hatch through to adult, which is roughly six weeks. The staple food for pretty much all chicks, including ducklings, is chick crumbs. These are the perfect size and consistency for chicks. They can be eaten without the need for grit to aid digestion, and they're small enough that even the tiniest little Dale quail chick will be able to eat them easily. Personally, I feed my quail chicks on turkey chick crumb, simply because I can buy it from my local store and I don't have to buy it in a huge quantity. The chicks should have fresh crumbs available to them at all times, and they will eat what they need, they don't overfeed or anything like that. And you can feed them either from a small bowl, like I do, or you can use one of the larger feeders, which is especially useful if you're raising more than, say, five chicks at a time, as otherwise they can be a bit squabbly and sort of mess the food around quite a lot. If, for any reason, you run out of chick crumbs if something happens to it, but for whatever reason you've not got the crumbs available to them, then you can give them hard-boiled egg yolk in order to tide them over for a day or two. Simply boil up your eggs, take away the whites, and then break the yolk up into little tiny pieces. The yolk actually contains everything a freshly hatched chick needs, but it doesn't have the nutritional requirements for a growing chick, so only feed yolk as a last resort while you get the proper feed ready for them, but it is a good thing to resort to if you're in a bit of a pinch. From about two weeks, your chicks should start looking a bit more favourably on eating their greens. This can be lettuce or grass from the garden or dandelions or anything, anything that's soft and leafy really. I like to give my chicks greens just because if it's something that they will eat that grows for free in my garden, then it cuts down on my feed bill just a little bit. But if you do give the chicks greens, be sure to also give them a supply of grit. The chicks will instinctively swallow the little stones and then that'll grind up the greens for them and help them with digestion. Any grit that's suitable for budgies or other small caged birds, lovebirds or anything is absolutely fine for quails. From about three weeks old, I like to give my quails seeds to eat. And this is partly because it's mimicking the sort of food they would be looking for in the wild, and again it's because they have that nice high protein content. I find quail particularly relish canary and millet seeds, although other small seeds such as sesame or niger work really well too. And if you give them bark chippings or sand or anything like that as a bedding, and then you scatter the seeds over that, then the quail will happily spend hour upon hour hunting for seeds in the bedding. And this can be a really good boredom buster for them, especially if they've only got a small area to move around in. And of course it goes without saying, quail need to have water available to them at all times. Some people like to use the little nipple drinkers. Personally, I've always just used a water bowl or one of the chicken style waterers. But you'll be really surprised at how much water quail go through. They drink a lot, even when the weather isn't particularly warm. So yeah, make sure they've always got water with them. I suppose that goes for any animal really, but just particularly quail. And that is how I feed my quail through from chick up to adult. They get other treats as well, but I'll cover those in another video. This is just what I give my birds as their staple diet. Anywho, I hope this has helped maybe with any of you prospective quail keepers out there and anybody who's wondering about what they could be feeding their own quail. I hope you've enjoyed the video too, and if you have, then you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!